Hello guys, today I'm going to install a manual cam chain tensioner on my Honda CBR 600 F3. It has a original cam chain tensioner in it, which is hydraulic, but the hydraulic ones fail very often. That's why I'm replacing it with this APE one. Well, I got this ridiculous looking uh, GoPro chest mount, so you can get a better look on how to install your APE cam chain tensioner. This is where your hydraulic cam chain tensioner is fitted. So get this plastic out of the way and then we can take it out. As you can see, here is a mark and on the camshaft there is a mark. And these two need to be lined up properly so that you can take the cam chain tensioner off. This is the old cam chain tensioner, which is hydraulic as you can see. So let's get the APE one in there. Well, as you can see, I got the new APE cam, cam chain tensioner in, the manual one. On this you need to screw it inwards, hand tight, and then give the crankshaft about two full rotations to check that the pistons don't hit the valves. When that's correct, we can screw this back, start it and fine tune it till we are completely satisfied with the result. Well, that looks pretty good. So now it's time to put the cap back on and then start the engine. Of course, with your tank on it. And then we can uh, fine tune it. So let's put this thing back to back on and get the fuel tank in, in its place and then fire up the engine.
as you can hear, the engine runs perfectly. So now it's time to put everything back together and then you're done. And take a look at this beautiful cam chain tensioner, which you won't see when you put everything back together. But hey, it's there. Well, as you can see, it's pretty easy to replace this old hydraulic cam chain tensioner with your APE manual cam chain tensioner. So now I'm going to take my bike out for a spin, see how it runs. I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to su subscribe here and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you guys later. Bye.